No, I don't party. Not much. I party when I when I celebrating, you know? But my type of partying is like traveling, you know, doing cool stuff outside of just going to the club or going to a party, you know? 20, 20 something years old now. I gotta keep that up. <laughs> I got the name Josh Pearl, you know, at first, when I first started rapping, my name was Smurf. And then time went by and um, I just wanted a more, you know, clean name, more to my name. My name is Josh and then I got Pearl from Black Pearl because um, my whole skating style got influenced into my music. So I just figured I'd just, you know, keep it true to myself. So that's how I got Josh Pearl. My first passion had to be, I won't say cameras, just photography, videography, but first photography because that was like the first thing I got my hands on was a camera. That when we were printing film, like I'd take the picture and I even seen the picture. It was a Tasmanian devil camera and like some kid camera and take a picture and then you would have to go to the um, camera store to get the picture printed. So, you know, I, I feel like I was, I was just more interested in that at that time because, you know, that was something I could have created myself, you know. That's when I realized I really wanted just to create, period. First thing I always tell people is create your own space. Don't wait for nobody to give you anything. If you want to do music, you want to do art, you want to do anything that creative or anything that has to do with you, you have to make a space for yourself to do it first. If you wait, you're going you to miss times where you're inspired to create something at that time and you miss it because you're waiting on somebody to give you an opportunity to do it. So if you want to do music, buy your own microphone, buy a and box, get your whole setup, and it costs like a hundred dollars, nothing. Like you can record on your phone, but have your own space and set up so you can start. And then from there, you know, the business comes with it and we could go deep into that. But the first thing is always to just have your own equipment and everything first. That's the first thing I tell anybody that I won't get into music. I just flip it to a hundred. That line just came from my life. Like I always look at life, like I, everything, if it at 50%, it gotta be a hundred. So like, wait, money. If I get a $50 bill, I got to flip that into a $100 bill. With, if I'm feeling 50% right now in my life, I need to make that 100 Everything around, just taking nothing from a little something to 100% of what I want it to be. So I just flip it to 100 I wanted it to be more pop too, so that 100 100 how it kept repeating in my head before I, I laid it out. I just figured that's the style I wanted on the beat, so that's how it came from. Right, yeah, I make up sick to this stomach. If I want your girl, I can press one button. When they pray me, all they take about is money. If I get a 50, I just flip it to 100. 100, 100, 100. I just flip it to 100. 100, 100, 100. Flip it to 100. I just flip it to 100. Cash, cash, all I want in my pocket Babylon pray, but they know they can't stop it Touch on the scene, every girl when I lock it When I hit the store, everything I be copping Money they are knocking Kick bed leaning on my ninja Kawasaki Everything I need is a set like Rocky I came from the bottom, so you know I gotta top it Star boy, star boy like the weekend They wanna take my name, so I play defense My girl Victoria, keep my secrets We go around the world every other weekend Ooh. You know that I need it Get yeah, your body hot like a phoenix Right now you're my one and only weakness Sit back, watch out that my prettiest This right here, I make up sick to this stomach If I want your girl, I can press one button When they pray me, all they think about is money If I get a 50, I just flip it to 100 Honey, 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 flip it to 100 I just flip it to 100 Honey, 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 flip it to 100 so what made me came up with this specific style of just like everything came unrelated, just people, culture and everything is, it was easy to shoot without thinking about it. So I told myself, don't think about it, set up in your brain where you want to shoot and go there and don't set up nothing far as just like pre-production, just go there and shoot and whatever happens, happens. Jerk chicken, underrated. Jamie's jerk chicken in East End, underrated. I've never tasted nothing better than that. I don't know if it's the sauce, the chicken, how you make it, the combination, everything. Underrated. I love jerk chicken. Yeah. Spicy. Natural coconut water. Underrated. And you cut it on hangover or anything. It's the best. Outside of hangovers, forget that thought. Coconut juice. 
coconut water, whatever you want to call it. Underrated by far. People ain't kill me, but I I don't know. I guess when you're from somewhere, it's just like when you got pool in your backyard, you use it for like the first week, but then after it's like, eh. So I don't, I don't like the sun that much. I hate sweating a lot. I hate being hot. I hate. So just the beach is like, if I'm not in the water, in the cool. And I, would, I don't want to say overrated, because like, I get killed. So I can't say that. People are murdering me with a pitchfork outside my house. Like, you betrayer. <laughs> Um, but the beach, overrated. <laughs> <laughs>it was interesting because you technically lived in the city but you also still had access to island life um, so for me some of my fondest memories is actually climbing trees riding my bicycle um, around my, um, my neighborhood but then like we also used to run and race each other in track and field without shoes so that was very very key to being a track and field star as a child in Jamaica no shoes it slowed you down and you ran barefoot on like asphalt or like the dirt, it didn't matter. That was a fun memory. I was very entrepreneurial. So I, one of my little business ideas was I would, um, we had this massive plum tree in my backyard. And so I would actually ask my mom or dad to bring me small clear plastic bags home, bring them home. I would pick the plums, wash them, dry them, put them in little bags drag this little wooden table and chair myself just drag the table to the end of my street where the, where it was more of a public street on the end of it and sell those bags for like five or ten dollars a bag jamaican dollars um unfortunately i would just use the money and buy patties so i didn't really have a saving and investing part down pat and then also um on that same vein of in that same vein of things when I would know that we had guests coming over or family coming over, I would get my neighbors and say, hey, we're gonna you know, choreograph a, a show, a dance, a drama play. I would just, we would produce like a whole thing, a fashion show, and then collect money at the end, of course, to buy patties. <laughs> but so, so those things stick out to me the most was just how creative I was at a very early age, always just finding ways to um, you know, make life very colorful. So the name Paradise Plum came at the end of the writing of that song. So first the song was called Silence. That was the name of the song. So in some of my voice notes, it says Silence version one, Silence version two. But then um, after I wrote the hook and the bridge and I kind of had some ideas, I approached a co-writer. Her name is Sarah Coach. She lives in Jamaica. Dope, dope songwriter. And I said, yo, what if you buy me a Paradise Plum? So actually, Paradise Plum is a very old school Jamaican candy that I don't, I've never actually eaten it, to be honest. Um, but what it, so, so when we put it in the second verse and we said, I you a Paradise Plum, who you are on from. So when we went back to record the song, I was like, ooh, I want to call this song Paradise Plum. Just know me like we knew we never had to say your word not to show Silence you You never put up a fight no Paradise Plum Just know me like we knew we never had to say your word not to show Silence I'm Spending time on the regular We'll pass the days when you just come up on my cellular If I'm the book then you're the editor Guy you know we always bring in all the best in us Spending time on the regular We'll pass the days when you just come up on my cellular
If I'm the book, then you're the editor. Cause you know we always bringing out the best in us. So we're spending time on the regular. So we're talking about this relationship and like building this journey. So we're past the days when you just call me on my phone. So it's like, okay, we're hanging out now, right? That's cool. If I'm the book, then you're the editor. So that just shows like the, the synchronicity of, of the vibe, you know, a book and the editor. Like if I wrote a book, you have to hire a dope editor for any publishing kind of a thing, right? So I thought it was cool. We thought it would, would be cool to say, yo, I'm the book, you're the editor. When we come together, we bring the best, we, we bring out the best in us. <laughs>